This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. As we have already seen in quite a few places, Outlook is much more than just an email program. We've seen it used for calendars, appointments, meetings. We've seen it used for controlling contacts and address books. But it also has the ability for you to create tasks and then obviously manage those tasks. Now, if we want to create a brand new task, we firstly move to the task section. You will see here some tasks in place. These are ones that have been added here previously, or they've been added here as tasks on the back of emails. So if we want to create our own task from scratch, there are a couple of methods. The quick method is to click into task subject here, click here to add a task, helps you out. And the task might be that I need to write my monthly report. What's the due date? Well, it assumes today, but I can click in, click the drop down, and choose a much later date. The monthly report is due at the end of the month. There's an option for categories, and then the folder is the to do list, which is where I am at the minute in the to do list, so that's where it's dropped in. And that's a quick, straightforward way of creating a new task. If I want to create a new task using the dialog box, which will give me a few more options, then I use the new task icon up here on the home ribbon and we have our new task dialog box. So we need a subject, course outline for Gmail. And we now don't just get a due date, we get a start date. So this task can have a start and an end date. So I'm gonna start this early in July. I need to have it finished certainly within a week. I can then change the status, it currently says not started. But I could change that to in progress, completed, waiting on someone else deferred. So that gives me the ability to track where I'm at. And I can change the priority for my task from normal to low or high, a bit like you do with the emails. So we'll leave this as normal. There is also a percentage complete box, so I can mark my task partly done, half done, etc. And then we have a big white box, again like an email, to put a bit more detail on that would expand on the subject. So course outline for Gmail, start with new account and proceed through sending and receiving emails to calendar options. That way I know what I'm supposed to be doing. And then I can save and close. And that task will then appear in my task list. There we see it, course outline for Gmail, due date, and it's in the tasks folder. So you have the two methods for creating a task. The very quick way, which is to click in up here, where you can add a subject, due date, possibly a category, and the folder is defaulted to the one we're in. Or you go for the new task dialog box, where you get access to much more information, because you can put a whole body of text in here, you can put a start date in, you can put a status in, percentage complete, and you can change the priority. So we have a, a lot more information accessible from using the dialog box than just doing it on the screen. But it will depend really on the way you wish to work or how quickly you want to put a task in. So all your tasks as you add them will appear here in your to-do list.